my name's Janelle and welcome back to Rosary Apparel. Today I'm going thrifting or op shopping as we call it here in Australia. It's going to be my first thrift shop of 2022 and I'm so excited to bring you along with me. Over the weekend I stayed in the most beautiful and dreamy Airbnb. It was honestly the most beautiful Airbnb I've ever stayed in and it was filled with the most lovely vintage furniture and other beautiful little knickknacks. And basically the whole time I was there, I was just craving to go for a good thrift shop. And so today I'm excited to see if I can find some nice homewares and maybe even some furniture for my house. But apart from that, I will of course be looking for some new fabric and sewing bits and pieces. And yeah, I'm just excited to see what I can find and let's get going. For the first time since the pandemic started, it is now mandatory to wear masks in Tasmania. So I made sure to mask up before I went inside the first store. And then pretty much straight away, I found this amazing striped floral fabric. I also decided to check out all of the kind of like dinnerware, homewares, furniture, and found a really cute retro bowl set, which I'll show you in more detail later. The next op shop I went to is mainly known for having lots and lots of clothing, but it also does have a whole heap of bed linens, tablecloths, old curtains, and all of those fun things that I could just spend hours looking through. And this really beautiful embroidered quilt did catch my eye. It is like the most beautiful blush pink color as well, but it was just a little bit too structured for my liking. And something else that I found at this store is this amazing maxi length gingham skirt. It was super cute, but just not the right size for me. The next shop I went to has probably the best selection of furniture pieces. So I spent a bit of time just looking through all the different things I had in stock. In particular, I really loved this cabinet with some vintage wallpaper on the inside it's just the most adorable print and if the cabinet was in better condition I would have been very tempted to buy this piece as well as the furniture this store has a really nice kind of retro vintage section um, full of amazing retro homewares so I did spend a good bit of time looking through this section as well Next, I went to the tip shop, which is basically like a recycle center, I guess you could say. And I was very drawn to this lovely pink pleated lampshade. In the end, it was just not quite in good enough condition for me to take home. But now looking at it again, I feel like I regret that decision a little bit. And then at the last few op shops, I didn't really find much, but one of them did have a nice selection of fabrics. So I spent a good bit of time rummaging through those and I'll show you in just a minute which one I decided to bring home with me. So I'm now back home and let me show you everything I found during my thrifting adventure this morning. I have to say I didn't find quite as much as I was hoping or as much as I normally find but the things that I did manage to pick up today I am genuinely so excited about. So let me just jump straight in and let me show you what I found today. In terms of fabric I managed to find quite a lot of things. The first piece being this incredible vintage bed sheet set. I think it might be a double bed. Oh, it's pretty massive actually. It's at least a double bed, if not queen size bed sheet. And it also came with two pillowcases as well, which I'm just so excited about. The reason I'm so excited about this piece, and I have mentioned it in a previous video, is this particular vintage bed sheet print is my all time favorite. Um, I've had it in so many different colorways, but this yellow mustard colorway is I think my all-time favorite one. I couldn't quite believe it when I saw it because they are getting rarer and rarer to find at the thrift store. And the bed sheet with the pillowcases cost $8, um, which I think is pretty good really for the amount of fabric I've got here. The next fabric piece I found is another bed sheet. This one's a single bed sheet and it's this amazing kind of 
striped floral design. There's something about it that I just really love and it's got a different print on the other side which is really cool. I didn't realise that when I was in the store. And again this one came with a little pillowcase as well. I just thought the print of this one and the colours of it were really different and unlike any fabric I've got in my stash so I thought I'd pick them up. And altogether this set cost me $6. Next, I have another duvet cover. This one is single bed size, so I don't have as much fabric there, but it is a green gingham. And the reason that I picked this one up is because it was $3.50, which I just think is such a bargain, and I can't pass up some gingham cotton fabric for only $3.50. And the last fabric find of the day is this 2.5 meter piece of flannelette fabric. Um, it's got the cutest little rose print all over it. I just think it's adorable and I think could make some really cozy pajamas in the colder months. And like I said, there's two and a half meters there, so plenty to make a pair of pajamas out of. And this piece cost me five dollars. Next, I have a couple of homeware pieces. First up to go kind of with the fabric theme is this adorable floral pillowcase. I feel like I was really lucky with the pillowcases today. Um, and I have to say, I really do like the look of having a few different mismatched pillowcases on our bed. This pillowcase cost only 50 cents and it's just got this adorable blue floral polka dot design all over it. It's so simple. But as soon as I saw it, I was just so drawn to the fabric, I decided to pick it up and yeah, add it to my pillowcase collection. Next, I picked up this adorable wicker basket. I have this weird obsession with baskets. I think it originated when I was planning our wedding. We ended up having a picnic wedding and instead of having people sit at tables, everyone got given a picnic basket and got to sit wherever they kind of wanted at the venue and have a picnic. And so I spent a good two years collecting picnic baskets. And now every time I go to a thrift store, I'm immediately drawn to all the baskets just because I had my radar out for so many years looking for these picnic baskets. So today I stumbled upon this adorable basket here. Just on its own, I think it's really cute and could be a really cool like accessory for my outfits. I love that baskets are in as like handbags at the moment. But what I really love about this one is there's this little divider. There, you can see it now. There's a little divider in the center here because I think the intention of this basket is to hold wine bottles, which I just think is the greatest thing ever. I just love the idea of rocking up to my friend's place with a couple of wine bottles in this cute little basket. So yeah, I think this is going to come in super handy and it cost me $8, which I don't know, might be a little bit expensive for what it is, but I was happy to spend it because I know I will use this. It's very, very me. Next in the homeware section, I have this set of retro shell bowls. I actually found these in the very first op shop I went to today and I don't know, I was so drawn to them. I almost decided to leave them, but right at the last minute I was like, nah, I need to have them. There's five shell bowls here and they cost me $8 for the lot. Matt and I already have quite a few. Oh my goodness, I've just seen. There's actually a little crab in the shell. I didn't even notice that, but that is the coolest thing ever. How adorable. What I was saying is Matt and I actually have a couple of like apple bowls similar to this. And surprisingly, we use them a lot. They just are kind of the perfect size for just snacking, I guess. So I already know I'm going to get a lot of use out of these and I just love that there's a whole set there. I love them so much and I am thinking of where I can put them so they're on display just because I think they look beautiful as well. And lastly, I have just two clothing items that I found. I wasn't really looking for clothes, but I always can't help myself. I have to go have a look at the clothing section just in case I find something that is my style. The first item of clothing I have is this amazing button-up skirt. Since getting it home, I have noticed there's a button missing, but to be completely honest, I'm not that in love with these buttons, so I'm planning to just replace all of them anyway. The tag on this skirt is very old. Um, I would say it's either from the 80s or the 90s. I hate calling the 90s vintage, but unfortunately it technically is vintage now, um, and I just really love buying clothes that have been around for that long and are still going strong. I'm not often drawn to really dark fabric like this, 
but it has got a really nice, quite 90s floral design all over it. And it basically is like my perfect skirt. I just love that it goes all the way to the floor. And yeah, I can just picture myself wearing this um, with just my t-shirts. And I also think in wintertime with my Doc Martens, it could look really cool as well. And this skirt cost only $5. So I think it was quite a bargain. And the last piece I have to share with you is Definitely the most boring. I probably shouldn't have left this one to last, <laughs> but it's just this ribbed beige t-shirt. When I go up shopping, I do like to try and pick up some basics like t-shirts. And I saw this one and thought it was pretty interesting that it's made out of ribbed fabric. This t-shirt was only $4. And I also think that these two are gonna go really nicely together as well. So that's a bonus. I love picking up two items while thrifting that kind of work nicely together. So yeah, that is everything I managed to find while out op shopping today. Let me know in the comments below which of the items I found today was your favorite. I genuinely love everything I found so much. I'm struggling to pick a favorite. It would definitely be a toss up between the floral mustard yellow vintage bed sheet set um, or the shell bowls. I absolutely love those bowls. I don't know why, but I think they're amazing. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you could give it a like and subscribe to this channel for more thrifting videos like this one. Have a lovely day and thanks for watching. Thank you.